The machine gun. High capacity. High damage. High rate of fire. Machine guns are easily the most devastating firearms on the battlefield. They promise a good time for the user, but a not so good time for those on the receiving end. Machine guns are always my favorite class of firearms in video games, yet one of my favorite games, Fallout 4, does not have a machine gun. There is uh, this abomination, but for some reason it's named as an assault rifle, and I will never forgive Bethesda for that atrocity. It's a very perplexing design decision, especially considering that there's plenty of machine guns from previous games that they could have brought back for Fallout 4. Thankfully, modders have come to the rescue to supply us with some lovely machine guns, and it's impressive just how high quality these fan-made mods can be. This top 5 list will include my all-time favorites, all of which are lore-friendly to Fallout, and I'll be ranking them based on the overall quality of their production. No time to delay, let's lock and load. Number 5. The M60 First developed in the 1950s, the M60 later became the main machine gun for the US military during the Vietnam War. It's a general purpose, medium machine gun chambered in 7.62x51, and due to its bulk and appetite for ammunition, it became affectionately known as the Pig. It quickly became a favorite in the media too, getting plenty of screen time in action movies like Rambo and Predator. It's the perfect weapon for anyone who needs to lay down some serious suppressive fire, and anything caught in the crossfire is sure to be cut down. The M60 was seen in previous Fallout games as well, making an appearance in both Fallout 2 and Fallout Tactics, and thanks to this mod, we can bring it back into Fallout 4. The mod includes both the original M60 and the M60 E3, along with a legendary variant called the Peacemaker. Not Peacemaker, but Peacemaker, because it turns everything into little pieces. It has an infinite belt of ammunition, so you'd never have to reload. With this variant especially, you can go total Rambo mode and mow down unending waves of enemies. Overall, this gun is extremely fun to use, and it is absolutely beautiful. The M60 is such an iconic design, and the textures of the mod itself are high quality. A neat detail I noticed is that the gun does have a custom mesh for the ammunition, so when firing, you'll see the spent links be spit out along with the empty casing, which is unlike any other machine gun mod I've seen. This gun is truly a work of art. I'll give it 10 bottle caps for aesthetics. The mod also has custom animations. They are quite nice and satisfying, but there are some flaws. The most notable one is that the V-Trade cover clips right through the iron sights when reloading. Additionally, the ammo belt isn't fully animated, and the gun lacks animations for an empty reload, so I'll give it 6 bottle caps for animations. The audio is certainly a strong suit though. The steady gallop of the M60 firing is like music to the ears. Nine bottle caps for the audio. As for attachments though, there's not much to go around. At most, you can cut down the barrel and add on a suppressor or take off the bipod. It's very limited. Two bottle caps for customization. When it comes to application, the M60 was implemented in a unique way. You'll be able to find the three variants in set locations in the Commonwealth, so good luck hunting. Either that, or you can craft one yourself at the chem station, along with the custom linked ammunition. There aren't any leveled lists included in the main mod though, but you can download a separate mod which gives the M60 proper leveled list integration. So with that part included, I'll give the M60 8 bottle caps for application. In total, it's a solid score of 35. What else can I say? The M60 is legendary and this mod does a good job at implementing it into Fallout 4. It most definitely deserves a spot in the top 5 machine gun mods of all time. The next mod up is another machine gun of great historical significance, and it's perhaps even more iconic than the M60. Number 4, the MG-42.
the MG42 is probably the most infamous machine gun of all time due to its use by German forces in World War II, and it proved especially devastating on D-Day. It's quite a menacing medium machine gun chambered in the 792 Mauser cartridge. With a fire rate of over 1,000 rounds per minute, it can cut through anything like a saw blade. In fact, due to its distinct rapid firing sound, it was nicknamed Hitler's Buzzsaw. It's truly the ultimate defensive machine gun. Just one of these bad boys can decimate an entire squad in seconds. Just like all other World War II weapons, the MG42 is 100% lore friendly to Fallout. Funnily enough, the only game it made an appearance in is none other than Fallout 76. Too bad that game sucks though. But anyway, this fan-made mod we see in Fallout 4 is much higher quality than Bethesda's work. When it comes to aesthetics, it is an exquisite art piece. The MG42 is absolutely iconic and I will not change a thing. The only part holding it back is that the texture quality of the mod itself isn't the best, but it's only noticeable if you look real close. Other than that, it's perfect. 9 out of 10 bottle caps for aesthetics. The animations are solid as well. They're simple, smooth, and satisfying. But there are a couple issues. Mainly, the mod lacks animations for an empty reload, and the ammo belt along with the non-disintegrating links are not fully animated. But overall, I do like the animations, and I'll give it 7 bottle caps in that sector. Now the audio is easily the best part. The author did a phenomenal job at capturing that iconic buzzsaw sound. It's honestly the best sounding gun in a video game that I have ever heard. Ten bottle caps for the sound design. Fantastic. Now for attachments, there's not that much. There are some options for different barrels, muzzle devices, and even decorational stickers. The most notable change you can make is the ammunition. You can convert it between 308 and 5mm, which will drastically affect the performance. And if you're really looking to have a grand old time, you can load in some explosive rounds. Highly unrealistic, but highly fun. Overall though, 4 bottle caps for the attachments. For application, the MG42 will be injected into the level list, so you can find it naturally in the commonwealth as loot from containers, enemies, or traders. It's a standard integration, so it gets 7 bottle caps on that part. All around, this mod is awesome, and the MG42 itself is legendary. With a total score of 37 bottle caps, it's earned its place in the top 5 machine gun mods for Fallout 4. I also think it's fair to say it's among one of the top machine guns of all time in real life as well. The next mod up admittedly isn't quite as epic as the MG42, but it receives a higher ranking due to its higher quality animations and quantity of attachments. Number 3, the RPD. This classic Soviet machine gun was first made in 1944, but it would not enter service for the USSR until the 1950s. It's classified as a light machine gun, and it's chambered in the 762 by 39 cartridge. It's quite a reliable machine gun, one that has been used all around the world, and in some places it's still being used to this day. During its time, the RPD was rather revolutionary. It broke machine gun tradition by using a smaller cartridge, and the gun itself is relatively light for its class. Don't let that fool you though, it's still more than capable of getting the job done. The RPD hasn't been included in any Fallout game sadly, but it is most definitely lore friendly. Interestingly enough, the design from the RPD's handguard can be seen on the Chinese assault rifle in Fallout 3. Thankfully, this mod brings us a genuine RPD, along with a uh, very interesting variant called the Chainsaw, which you can only fire from the hip. Now that is a wonderful thing. When it comes to aesthetics, the RPD is quite a handsome gun, with plenty of unique features that make it stand out, and the texture quality of the mod itself is pretty good. However, I do think that the textures can look dry and flat, especially when compared to the other guns on this list. Also, the mod doesn't have any custom textures for its ammunition, so the steel cased ammo depicted in the belt is transformed into brass after firing. But besides those two little nitpicks, the RPD is a good looking gun, and it deserves 8 bottle caps for aesthetics. Now the animations on this one are outstanding. They are silky smooth and look to be made by an expert. 
The reload especially is mesmerizing. I could watch it all day. Unlike the previous machine guns on this list, this mod does have animations for an empty reload. Now that is some of the best animation work I've ever seen. The only thing the RPD is missing is a fully animated, non-disintegrating ammo belt. Other than that, the animations are perfect. Easily worth 9.5 bottle caps. For the audio, well, the firing sounds are vanilla, and they sound rather bland in my opinion. But everything else is custom, and it's crispy. Overall, 6 bottle caps for the audio. In terms of attachments, now that is where the fun begins. This RPD is surprisingly customizable. You can keep it as the classic RPD, or upgrade it into a more modern one with all the bells and whistles. There is a huge assortment of attachments, ranging from barrels, stocks, sights, muzzles, grips, a drum extension, and even a conversion to 5.56. The most interesting attachment, or a variant, is the RPD Chainsaw. It's got a special grip on the top of the gun, so you hold it at your side like a minigun and can spray away with reckless abandon. It's a stupid fun variant to use, even if it's not uh, historically accurate. The mod author went above and beyond with the attachments for the RPD, and I am pleasantly surprised. So in that sector, I'll give it 9.5 bottle caps. Finally, for application, the RPD has the standard levelless integration you'd expect with most mods. Standard application, standard rating of 7 bottle caps. With a total score of 40 bottle caps, the RPD has proven it is worthy of third place. I'm really glad this mod came out just in time for this video, because it most certainly deserves to be featured as one of the best machine gun mods for Fallout 4. Up next is another well-known Soviet machine gun, but this one packs a bigger punch. Number 2. The PKM This list would simply not be complete without the venerable PKM. It's a well-renowned medium machine gun chambered in the 7.62x54 rimmed cartridge. It was first produced by the Soviet Union in 1961 as the PK, and the later PKM variant would emerge in 1969. The PKM has been in active military service ever since, outlasting the Soviet Union itself. After all, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the PKM is quite a rugged and efficient machine gun. Some may consider it the best machine gun in the whole world. In fact, PKM stands for Perfect Killing Machine, and indeed it is. With a steady rain of fire, this beast can take down anything that you throw at it. Sadly, the PKM has never been featured in a Fallout game, but I think it's more than safe to say that it's lore friendly. No matter though, for we finally got this awesome PKM mod for Fallout 4. And I'm glad to say that this PKM is absolutely beautiful. It deserves a chef's kiss for how scrumptious it looks. The quality of the textures in this mod are impeccable. You can see every little detail, marking, and scratch. It's one of the most visually appealing gun mods I've ever had the honor of laying my eyes upon. There's no question about it. This PKM is stunning. For aesthetics, it easily gets 10 bottle caps. I really like the animations as well. They look realistic and hefty. They truly make you feel the beefiness and power of this firearm, and I especially love the way all the parts flap around as the machine gun fires. I can tell these were made by an expert animator, but there are several flaws. Most notably, you'll see that your left arm often clips through the giant box magazine. Also, there's no animations for an empty reload, and the ammo belt isn't fully animated. Also, I'm not sure if this is tied to the animations, but for some reason, the PKM doesn't drop back down after firing, which is odd, and I think it's worthy of mentioning. So, there are a few issues, but I still very much enjoy the animations of this gun, so I'll give it 7 bottle caps on that part. As for the audio, it's punchy and crisp, making the PKM even more satisfying to operate, and the reload sounds are so detailed that it's like listening to machine gun ASMR. However, I did notice that sometimes the timing of the firing sounds can be inconsistent. I'll give it 8 bottle caps for the audio. 
Now for the attachments, you'll want to prepare yourself, because this PKM has an absurd amount of attachments. There's receivers, sights, barrels, muzzles, stocks, grips, foregrips, handguards, lasers, paint jobs, you name it, the PKM has got it. With all these options, you can customize the PKM in plenty of different ways. You can keep it rather simple, or deck it out from stock to muzzle with tactical accessories. And you can expand the customization even further with the PKM Zenit add-on, which adds in plenty more accessories. Interestingly enough, this PKM even features multiple caliber conversions, from 7.62x54 to 7.62x51, 9x53, 5.56, and, for some reason that only God knows why, 12 gauge. So yes, you can have a fully automatic belt fed shotgun. That, and you can make some truly heinous attachment combos. And honestly, I should deduct points for how cursed this is, but the amount of effort is respectable, and it's pretty funny too, so I won't. With all those attachments, the PKM is easily the most customizable machine gun mod for Fallout 4. This sheer variety is unprecedented, so it most definitely deserves 10 bottle caps for the attachments. And for the last part, application. You know the drill at this point. This mod includes the regular level dust integration that you would see with most mods, so I'll give it 7 bottle caps. Overall, the PKM racks up a big score of 42 bottle caps. It does have a few flaws, but all around, it's an outstanding mod. And of course, the PKM itself is super awesome. It's earned its second place spot on this list as one of the best machine gun mods for Fallout 4. But ultimately, it was beat by the first place machine gun by only half of a point. Number 1. The M249 I'm sure we all know this one. The M249 SAW is the current light machine gun in service for the US military. It's been in service for 38 years now, ever since it was adopted in 1984. Despite some flaws, it's still a favorite among troops due to its ability to lay down hate. It's chambered in the 5.56 cartridge, making it have less raw stopping power than the other machine guns on this list, but the high rate of fire makes up for it. With enough bullets, you can saw through anything, and that's exactly why it's called the M249 saw. No other reason. It may come as a surprise to some, but the M249 has been featured in the Fallout franchise, more specifically in Fallout Tactics. Another interesting thing to note is that the assault rifle seen in Fallout 4 does take some inspiration from the M249, seeing as it has the same handguard and uses a side-fed magazine. But that gun is super ugly, so instead, we have this amazing mod which adds in a genuine, high-quality M249. Aesthetically speaking, the M249 is a lovely-looking machine gun. Or, actually, it looks mean and intimidating, like it means business. And you can tell, this gun has been through it. The textures are so detailed that you can see all the marks, chips, and scratches, and this gun wears them proudly as battle scars. Or maybe the jarheads using it just didn't take care of it. Either way, it looks cool. It's another prime example of one of the most detailed gun mods I have ever seen. I also really like the unique and distinct features of the M249 itself. It's sleek and tactical, and it's my personal favorite machine gun design. Dare I say, it's the most aesthetic machine gun. So, for that part, I give it 10 bottle caps. The animations are top tier as well. I'd say they're the best on this list. And yes, this one does have animations for both empty and tactical reloads. The attention to detail is impressive. I especially love the empty reload when using a belt. Your character will flip up the feed tray, which flicks off a stray link, all the while they check under the feed tray for any stragglers, and then proceed with the reload in a very skilled and deliberate manner. Now that is how you animate a machine gun. The tactical reload is satisfying too, however, I did notice that the belt clips through the gun during the process. The reloads with the AR magazines are just as, if not even more satisfying. They look speedy and aggressive, and the empty reload especially is quite flashy. The only flaws here are the same as the other guns on this list, that being the ammo belt isn't fully animated, and this gun also fails to properly show the disintegrating links being ejected from the gun. Overall though, these animations are phenomenal and worthy of 9.5 bottle caps. 
As for audio, good news, it's also pretty dang good. The firing sounds are almost uh, therapeutic in a way, so from now on, I'm going to call this my emotional support machine gun. And yes, the reload sounds are detailed as well. I rate the sounds 8 out of 10 bottle caps. The attachments are another great part about this mod. As you may have already noticed, the M249 is heavily customizable. There's different barrels, handguards, stocks, muzzles, optics, you know, all that good stuff. More notably, you can change the rate of fire by adjusting the gas system to its adverse setting, which increases the rate of fire to about 1000 rounds per minute. There's several magazine options as well, from the 100 round nutsack to the hefty 200 round plastic box mag. But what's especially interesting is the ability to use standard AR magazines. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the only belt-fed machine gun that has that feature. And if you think 5.56 isn't quite enough stopping power, then you can convert it into 7.62, essentially turning it into the Mark 48 variant. All those attachments make the M249 quite the versatile machine gun, one that you can use in any situation. For the attachments, I rate it 9 out of 10 bottle caps. And the last part, application. Okay. Yeah, it's the same deal as all the other guns. It's been added to the level list, so you can find it naturally in the loot tables. As usual, 7 out of 10 bottle caps for that part. Overall, the M249's total score is 42.5, making it the highest quality machine gun mod for Fallout 4. It's such an epic gun, and I adore its aesthetics and animations especially. If I could only choose one machine gun to use, it would definitely be this one. But of course, I use all of them because I am an absolute hoarder when it comes to Fallout 4 mods. The M249 is my personal favorite though, but please, do let me know which one is your favorite. You really can't go wrong with all the guns on this list, they're all good in their own right. And that wraps up my top 5 favorite machine gun mods for Fallout 4. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you want to expand your arsenal even further with heavy machine guns, then make sure to check out my top 5 heavy weapons video, or take a look at this other top 5 list.